Welcome to the Excel tip video from Excel and CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In the last three videos, I have explained three different methods to unstack data from a single column to different columns. Here is one more method using Power Query for the same requirement. Same data which we have seen in the demo sheet. Now to load this data into the Power Query editor, select the data, go to the data tab from table slash range create table ok see the data has been converted into an excel table and is loaded into the power query editor the first step to unstack this data is adding a column of serial numbers for that go to the add column tab index column from 0. See we have a new column containing serial numbers starting from 0. The second step is to divide these serial numbers with the number of columns required and find the remainders. We need data in 4 columns. To divide these serial numbers with number of columns, select the column, standard, modulo, type in the number of columns. 4 ok see we have a new column containing reminders after dividing these serial numbers with number of columns the third step is to pivot this data using these reminders for that select this column containing reminders transform pivot column advanced options we don't want to aggregate the value don't aggregate ok see the data in a single column came into different columns next step is to fill this data in the upward direction for that select column 1 2 and 3 fill up and we have our data in the required format Now to remove this unwanted rows, click on this filter head, unmark this checkbox for null, ok. To remove this index column, right click, remove, we'll rename this column headers, company name. locality. state and country now to load this data into the excel worksheet home close and load close and load to existing worksheet we'll select this cell d5 ok data in this single column is unstacked into different columns. Now let's add some data here. Right click, copy, right click, paste. To update this output table, right click, refresh see the output table has been updated for the addition of data i really hope you got something new from this video and if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases and also thanks for watching and wish you a great day